Hello everyone, my name is Lily and welcome back to Control. Uh, we have Old Growth, locate Dr. Underhill below the central research. Okay, I think, uh, let's not get too sidetracked here. So we have that one and then we also have to find our brother. Jesse goes to the containment sector to find the panopticon where Dylan is held. We're going to put that off because I want to see what this is, the active threshold below central research. So if that's the case, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Let's fast travel. Maybe, okay. I can't really move the map itself, which sucks. But we have a, a little triangle indicator there, so I'm wondering if that's where the mission is. Well, let's go. Okay, guys, at least if we're here, then maybe we could look at- oh. We cannot. Uh... Oh, let me look at the missions again. It doesn't specify below central research. So let's, let's see, where is central research? Here. Okay, research Dr. Underhill's lab. So has that changed anything? Not really, but there is an elevator around here somewhere, right? Down below, maybe a little bit? Okay. I mean, we only have one option, really, and that is to go- Oh. To go and take a look. So, okay, none of that is helpful. None of that is helpful. This is where that stuff was, I remember that. Do I potentially have to go down? How do I- how would I do that, though? This is- this definitely feels like an elevator shaft. Hmm. I gotta think long and hard about this because I am not- There's no signage or anything. Below central research. What is that? Oh, th okay, I'm glad I came here because there's some stuff that I don't have. Uh, black rock s sample analysis. Good lord. Hi, Carla. Does it strike you as odd that Darling insists on having us appear in those bizarre videos of his? I mean, we just stand there. He doesn't even let us have lines or anything. Don't get me wrong, be today in the lab. Plus, it's always great to work with you. Oh yeah, I finished the comparative, comparative analysis of the two black rock samples you sent. The prism or whatever you call it. I filed them in the usual place under C for Carla. A handy new is it monomic? I don't know. Device, huh? Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, let me know if there's anything you want to discuss about the data. I'll gladly explain. Maybe we could chat about it over some drinks or dinner even. Oh. Is that is that allowed? Are interpersonal relationships allowed here at work? Uh, I can't remember the last time I had a good steak. Maybe we could go together after work sometime and free tomorrow. All the best, Hubert. I mean, if they allow work romances, then that's fine. And uh, if she says that's nice, if she said good, it's good, it's nice. It's probably copyrighted music. Because I got that stuff turned off, and if it's not playing, if it's only silence coming through the radio, and it's probably copper to music. I'm still so confused. I, I I don't know how to get any lower than this. Whoa! Look at that. Who? Ew. Well, he is dead. He is dead. This is the first time I'm actually getting a pretty good look at a hiss-controlled person. Pretty interesting, but also kind of grody. Kind? I'm gonna- yeah. It's, it's pretty grody. Dimensional research? Well, that sucks, but I'm gonna go anyways, right? We've never- we've never been here before. We'll give it a try because I don't know what else to do. Fire break. Possibly changing the labyrinth. Can never pass through. Dimensional research. 
every measure of security. Okay. I wish he wasn't so cryptic about what he's talking about. If he would speak in full, eloquent sentences, it'd be super helpful, but nothing is ever that easy, is it? I'm a little worried. Ashtray Maze? Where are we? I really would- can I? No, using different buttons to kind of move around is not moving the map itself. It's- it's fine. We're gonna make it work, cause that's how what we always do. Okay, so... I guess this maze has to be conquered. A little worried. I'm not really the best at maze. This is okay. Oh my god, this is... Oh my god. This is actually so fascinating. Uh-oh. Is this the entrance? Yeah, okay. I have a feeling I'm gonna be here for a long time trying to figure this out. Oh. Well, this is new. There we go. I was like, I was telling myself, she feels a little off-center. Why do I feel so unsettled by her position, and then I realized that I had her in the wrong boat. Okay, that's the entrance, so... We're back here again. Or not. Some of the pictures are on the floor. Okay, I'm ap I know 100% I'm going in circles at the moment. So I'm trying to figure out What would be the thing to break that? Circle. It's... Well, it got the picture off the wall, which is what I wanted to do, but I didn't think it was going to be like that. Okay, I know that that leads back to the entrance. So what can I do? Actually, do we have any info about this? Hotline. I'm gonna, let me watch it again. See what he says. That's not... That's not what I wanted, though. Uh, this one. I'm averse to using objects of power. What? I don't want to lean on things I ultimately can't trust. But the ashtray and the cigarette, smoking there forever, have their uses. The ashtray maze they conjure is an impossibly changing labyrinth that no one but the binder and those the binder invites can ever pass through. The things we hid in dimensional research, the things Darling studies, the danger and the risk involved, call for every measure of security and protection I could bring to the table. The maze, hands down, is our strongest lock. I gave Darling and his chosen crew License to pass through the maze. Lately, I've started to think I should revoke that license. Why? I'm so sorry, I, I just noticed that the mouse was on the thing. Are you shitting me? Are you telling me that all of these actually have, like, full-on, uh, videos? I thought that these were just clips of stuff. I mean, yeah, I already knew that. I already knew that, but hold on, let me see this one. The Ocean View Motel and Casino is a familiar friend to me. 
I stayed in countless motels like it while investigating AWEs across the country, back in my field agent days. Those roadside motels all bleed together like a dream. Same and not the same. Anywhere and nowhere. The ocean view operates on dream logic, and the light switch cord leaks out to be found in the most unexpected places and sometimes successfully encouraged to appear and act as a convenient lock to keep out those not trained in dreamscape navigation. Even Bureau veterans can only find one key in the motel, the key that opens the door marked with the inverted black pyramid. The rest, the many other doors, are still mysteries to us. We're all merely guests there. Even the board. Sometimes I need to visit, just to breathe easier for a while. It beats the numb, sterile apartment I spend my nights in, insulated from everything but myself. I guess that's where the whiskey comes in. Holy shit, I didn't realize that all of these were like full... Probably not these, but maybe even these. Oh my god, okay. I mean, if that's the case, then I think we should watch them, but I definitely gotta stagger it out, otherwise this is just gonna be a movie episode, and I don't want that. So, I guess that we cannot traverse this. We don't have permission to do so. Okay, that's really interesting, though. But again, that takes me to the problem I had in the first place, which is I don't know where the heck I gotta go. I even have it highlighted, but maybe because we don't know exactly where it is, like we haven't discovered it yet, maybe that's why I can't find it. Is this whole episode just me running around looking for this? Because that's gonna be super boring. Oh. Plant complaint. Hey, so I was just wondering about the plants in research. Is it really necessary to sing to them? I mean, the janitor does have a nice voice and the plants seem to like it. Maybe he could just switch it up a bit. I'm getting pretty tired of the tango. And where do these plants come from? No one seems to remember when they were planted and the people like them a bit too much if you ask me. Are we being invaded by houseplants? Worth looking into. Okay. Hi! Oh, hello. Wasn't expecting company in here, I'll say that much. I... I'm thoroughly confused and lost. So what I'm gonna do is cut my lo- There's a video thing here. <laughs> I'm just doing everything I can to put off fighting that guy. A glimpse into the paranatural. Synchronicity and the unseen connections. Introduction. Synchronicity is a phenomenon, phenomena, long recognized by the wise, but only recently given a name by science. It is how we rationalize events connected by no identifiable casualty, yet clearly conjoined in purpose. How does a dream foretell an event in the physical plane? Why do hounds bail at the death of their master, which has occurred miles away? The world is unified in ways we do not yet understand, and sometimes we stumble across these invisible unseen chords and wonder at the result. The visionary Carl Jun laid the road. Now we must walk it. My fledgling research department will make it our mission to reliably reproduce a lot of, a lot of blanks. Behavior by the close of 1959. Once done, the mechanics of synchronicity will lay themselves bare in due time. We are striding into the future of science. History may not remember our names, but God himself will. Damn. Oh. I didn't realize that I had so many people. Oh, and the scientists. These guys were in a meeting. Oh. Goodness. What I'm gonna do is after I kick the shit out of these guys. I'm just gonna switch missions. I, d I really don't have a choice. I have no idea where I'm going. Uh, so now what I have to do is find 
a, a place where I could fast travel. And finding that is gonna be in another. Oh, just right. The HRA lab. Beautiful. What do you make of these hiss? How can you make heads or tails of his notes? It's all random numbers and symbols to me. And song lyrics? Before he began making videos, I did all of Darling's transcription. I was thrilled when the comms department gave him a media team. Uh, relatable. Relatable. But can I fast travel from here? Don't, doesn't look like it. Which is, frankly, disappointing. I don't know where I'm going. But okay, I don't think I've been here. Sync, sync, I cannot say it anymore. I've forgotten how to say it. But I guess we've never been here before. I'll take it. Hey, oh, never mind. I thought that these were people. Is there... This is... oh. Please don't move when I'm not looking at you. Mirror testing. This whole episode has just been a lot of bizarre. Six? Uh, yeah, but Polaris wants me to go in there. Where do I... Is that where I'm supposed to go? No. Polaris wants me to go in there, but I guess that'll be for another day. I don't... What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Because I sure as hell have no idea. Just papers? We could always read papers, I guess. Give us some more lore. Oops, I lost it. Synchronicity. That's what it is. Let's see. Okay, so this is by our best bud. As a test, television sets were placed in a variety of locations around the world inside rooms identically decorated. The, hip the hypothesis was that by identically altering the decor of every room and then changing the channel in every room but one, that the single Differing television would spontaneously align the incoming frequency to match its synchronous counterparts. The experiment seemed like a failure until it was observed that the agents responsible for arranging and monitoring these rooms were all experiencing the same emotional turmoil as one clinically depressed member of the team, himself being located in the eastern part of blank. Interesting. Psychological examination of the agents proved the correlation. Interestingly, the phenomenon of synchronicity did occur, but not in the way we predicted. That's actually really cool. That sucks for the members of the team. I, I know, Polaris, I can't go down there, though. I need to find whoever has this. I thought five was the best, but I was wrong. I don't know where I am. I need to find... I need to find something. I need to find something. Okay, I finally made it to a place where I can travel from. My goodness gracious, that was ridiculous. Wait a minute. Now we... Huh? Now we don't have any indication of where we gotta go? Fun. Okay. Map. Map doesn't tell us. What about mission? The containment sector. Okay. Where is that? I guess we could go back to the Black Rock Quarry and take this elevator and see if it gets us anywhere because I don't... I don't know. Okay, if it... If it does turn out... Oh, look! I think it's stuck outside. I had forgotten that I had left it... right there. Um... Uh, <laughs> um... How would I even get to that? I have to try. I have to try. If I could run to the the platforming stage and go from there. Let's try it. We have no other option. Oh no, of course. I don't got the time for you. 
Whoa, God, oh, there's so many of them. Run, just run. Run the buns, run the buns. If the buns on the run, then they can't grab them. There's so many of them. Are they... They kind of look like they're made of black rock. Almost. Man, I... I don't like them at all. Okay, so I did see that room. This is gonna be so rough, but we're gonna have to try and make it work, okay? So we're technically above, and going down is gonna take us onto the the trail. So when I when I keep going, I have to get up higher. Ow! Maybe if I maybe maybe if I just maybe if I just pretend that everything will be okay, everything will be okay. How do I get up there? How do I get up? We're, I mean, worst case scenario, we die and we go back to where we were. I'm okay with that. I have no qualms with that. But sometimes, sometimes we gotta be a little bit brave, even though we don't want to. Where am I? That is... Okay. We, we're making progress. We're getting up, we're getting up higher. There's stuff moving up there? Are there- oh, it's this. Oh my goodness gracious. Where is the healing thing? I don't know. Uh... I can see him getting- I just don't focus on him at the moment. This is a healing thing that I can't see and he's gonna be a, a pain in the ass. Is he still getting healed? Me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. As, as much as I don't want to, I've been running around for like 40 minutes without any progress at all. So I'm gonna cut my losses and I'm, I'm gonna look up a guide on what I have to do because I'm completely lost. Okay, I cheated and I got back here because I know where I gotta go and you guys are not gonna believe it because I didn't even consider it. So let's go. Okay, we're here. No hiss followed you in, right? And I gotta take the elevator, which I had no idea. We have to go here. Can you believe that shit? I I can I cannot believe that I had- you know what? I can believe. My memory is so bad that even if we- we have come here before. And I ran. Because I saw people and I said I didn't want any part of that, but I had completely forgotten about it. So it is what it is. We learned some interesting things. We found some papers too, so I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna say that this, uh, this episode has been a complete loss because we made- we made some progress. But I will say that I am devastated it took me so long to figure this shit out. F him. F him. I, I can't F him. F him real good right in the A. useless. Absolutely useless. He's just flying around and doing nothing. And suck a duck, sir. So that's how we roll here. Easy does it. Easy, easy does it. Oh my lordy lord. Okay, I didn't realize that there was a maniac hiding in the corner.
dude. Okay, I was expecting it to be a big boy, so I'm really glad that it, it wasn't. But they have thoroughly destroyed this floor, and you know what? That's on them. That is on them. I can't go there, so I guess here? Okay. Oh! Panopticon. Lovely. Lovely. Can't believe it took me so long to get here, but we're here. And that's what matters. Right, that's what matters. I wish that I could see what kind of level these kids were, but... Just gotta... Not even giving them a chance. Recharging, recharging, recharging. It's cool. We're we're fine. For some reason, I thought that he had a shield and he did not. <laughs> that was fun. I tend to get super careless while I'm fighting, which is why a lot of a lot of times when I'm pulling something, it never reaches its mark because I get careless, caught up in the heat of battle. I want to say that while I looked up how to get here, I also looked up on how to do the other mission as well. Um, yeah, it turns out I was right about that elevator, but we need something. I'm not going to spoil it. We need a move, an ability, sorry, it's an ability, that I don't have yet. Oh, there is a lot. Okay. Uh, just going to have to make it work. Going to make it fit into a regular size episode because that's the magic of editing. Silence, really? Medical wing. Take it easy. Ew. Ew. Medical wing. <laughs> Alright. Hello? Oh. Okay, well, they're not big boys. Anything is better than the big boys. Yeah, yeah, I see you. I know that you're here. I'm not ignoring you. <laughs> I know, I know. Can I get a little bit of the health? Ow, ew, 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 ew. We gotta get them to come out from behind the stuff that they're hiding. I need to replenish the energies. Gotta be ruthless. There's another six one over here. I learned a lot today. I learned a lot. But we still have... In, in my pursuit of good content, we're gonna keep going. Because why the heck not? I got nothing better to do. I'm... I am worried, though. Because... Pope said... I'm the Pope? Or is it... Her Harris, Her Harrington? So, the other lady. Harrison? The military looking lady. She said that our brother is a monster. She full out said it. Oh. Ew. Yeah, well, I know I can't go there. Never mind, maybe I can. I definitely cannot go there. Please don't kill me. Fungus mold stuff, please don't. Oh. What the hell is that? That was 
was so cool. I accidentally did the shield and picked up files and stuff like that. What the hell was that? I don't have any data on them. Mold autopsy. Oh! Autopsy report subject blank. I guess we'll never know who died. Summary, the deceased was a blank year old with no significant past medical history. The subject was brought in after being discovered in the active threshold in an early state of decay that is characteristic characteristically fungus based in its appearance. During autopsy, the cadavers... How, how would you say that? Planural cavities were revealed to be entirely filled by the fungus known as the mold to an extent that the medical staff were forced to put on decontamination shoots. Holy shit. The procedure was also hindered by anomalies such as the deceased's high body temperature and undulating torso, muscles presumably, but not pro probably? Pro probably. Yeah, there's so many words in here that are so big for my small, small brain. Caused by trapped gases. Routine samples, as well as tissue samples requested by Dr. Underhill, were successfully extracted. However, their rapid retrogression outside of the host body need to be noted. Cause of death, mold ingestion. Oof. I, that, use your words. We have words. It's gotta be an airborne thing. Is this where they had the autopsy? Oh my god, we are full. We are full in it. <laughs> I am dead. <laughs> yeah, I mean business. Hello? I mean business right now? Make it up for lost time. Y'all better get your shit together because if you don't, then I will get it together for you and you're not gonna like it. I see, that's where they came. Oh my god, there's so many, so many, so many. We need to backtrack. Good lord. I want this baby to be my baby. Fight for me. Die for me. He died. He really did die for me. gonna turn your ass I can I only have one at a time maybe I like this strat though keeps me safe from all of these nerds goodness gracious is it just me or I think it I think easy no I don't think that the mold is spreading. I think it's just me. It'd be really gross if it is actually spreading to the environment around it. But I don't think that that is the case. Okay. Goodness. So I think it's safe to say that the infection spread. Safe to say, safe to say. But they were talking about mold upstairs. Oh lord. <gasps> what? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna run back and get health because I don't know. I'm actually shocked that we are down here without any protection. Are we excused from this madness? Because of who we are? Because this is awful. This is absolutely disgusting. I... I don't know. I was just gonna say, I don't know how anybody survived in this, but they didn't. They did not. We just killed all the people that were down here. Mechanical room. Take it... Easy. Everything is absolutely horrifying in this area. But I do love when you have a game and you're like, okay, I've seen what you have to offer. It can get any worse than this. And then it gets 
so much worse and you are in your bed at night crying because it's so bad and you're just like please let the nightmare stop i love it i'm here for it p6 is what the bureau calls dylan his cell's been breached has the hiss found him are you there with him can you protect him Polaris? Polaris has taken a vow of silence. Okay. Well, yeah. Oh, okay, let me do this. If I press that button, I'm gonna be opening all of this, which could potentially let everybody out. If anybody's in there. But I see some paperwork. And I'm gonna let all the inmates out because I want the lore. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine being so selfish? Right? Oh, that's not even lore. That's just a box. It's cool. Security center. Well, we gonna we gonna do it. Though there is something there. What is what is this? Oh, it's just another one. Imagine being so selfish. That's me. I am picking up new mods and stuff, so I think that eventually I should check out what I have. Hello? Wall of Honor. In memory of the heroic agents who gave their lives to forces unknown, known and unknown, for the protection and greater knowledge of all humankind, we honor their sacrifice. They actually have names up here. Are these people who worked on the team? Because that'd be pretty cool. I mean, it's not, it's not cool that they're listed like that, but it's cool that they- oh. There's the other side. I see! So I just made a big round and I just opened up a shortcut for us. Okay. Wait, I- yeah, no, I did. So, okay, so that means that I don't need to go through all of that disgusting stuff again. Now we can just go straight. This way? Oh. Okay. Take a deep breath. That was horrifying? Uh, I'm assuming that that was our brother. But I'm very spooked of him right now. Oh. Completely different room opened up. Did you guys hear that? There was blood coming out from under this door and very briefly, when I ran by, someone was screaming. Oh no, it's the same door. My bad. Oh. Um, okay. Let's go back and ring the bells. For whom the bells toll. You got me. I don't know anymore. Okay. Oh! That was easy peasy. But I do think it's fascinating that Trench said that this door is the only one that ever opens. We'll never be able to open the other ones. Unless he just was not cool enough and he didn't get access. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Please, don't be a homicidal maniac, Dylan. It's been a long time since Dylan and I knew each other. I've wondered about him. What kind of man he'd grow up to be. Were things as hard for him as they were for me? Maybe in here, they were even harder. Just don't be a homicidal maniac. Watch your step. Oh, there's... I'm... Hello? Hello? Oh, hello. Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director? Right, uh, well, okay. Hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. 
It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but you're the director, so here we go. Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state-of-the-art repository for all altered I items. I don't have time for this. Power and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated, away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there, and <laughs> it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV? It's, uh, it's a real doozy. Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 OOP we're talking about, and if we don't contain it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. Uh, I usually tell first-timers not to touch anything, so, uh, just do that. <laughs> Here, I'll get the door for you. Thank you. And please, ma'am, call me Fred. Okay. Thanks, Langston. Ma'am! Jesse, you were complaining that people are calling you director. I better not get blamed for this mess in the next performance review. I have a cat to feed. You're fine, my dude. You are fine. Okay, deep breath. Deep breath. Because that object of power is what we need as well. The Panopticon. Dylan's close. But that object of power might wreck this place before I find him. Girl, just take a deep breath. We got this. We got this. I'm so happy for this, because if we die, we can just come back here. Okay. Archives. A lot of- yeah, I would imagine that there are a lot of archives. Let's pull ourselves together, because there's a lot to do. <sighs> that they were expecting me to be thrown by is. Focus up. Focus up. We're on a mission. It, can I ever really just truly focus up though? I feel like I'm such a scatterbrain that that is just not gonna happen. Fortified unit. I'm so excited because I love reading about like there's a huge is it a Wikipedia or is it like an actual diction I don't I haven't actually been to the Wikipedia itself but there's a lot of information on like SCPs out there and I just love reading about the SCPs I don't actually want to play the games because they're not my type of thing but learning about is that a basket it's a picnic basket learning about the their powers and the crazy shit that happens. That's what gets me going. I love that kind of shit. Where am I supposed to be going anyways? Is that a hammer? It's like one of those hammers you use when you... Okay, so we gotta go all the way up to the top. Okay, I don't think that we will be able to because the OOP... This... Something went wrong with the Bureau's plan to make Dylan the next director. Marshall made it sound like it was all Dylan's fault, but how much of it was what the Bureau did to him? I don't think she's telling me everything. Oh, I missed one. It's like a small little flying octopus, looks so cute, very happy in its environment, kind of following me up, which is a little unsettling, but whatever. Oh, oh. Fine. We're fine. Hello. <laughs> That's like, I feel like we're in an aquarium and we're taking the elevator up and the elevator surrounded by like jellyfish, but the jellyfish are modif modified humans. It's not the, yeah, that's so funny. It's, a, it's a, there's somebody here. Is, any, is anyone there? What are you doing in there? 
Oh, thank God. Look, someone has to watch this object at all times, or it deviates. My shipper blazer never showed up. Can uh, you help me? Damn. I can't. I'm sorry. There's an emergency. I'll come back, I promise. Okay. Okay, just don't forget. I can't stare at this thing much longer. I'm co For, yeah, no, we're totally gonna do this. This is hilarious. And also very sad. It's very sad. Um, couldn't I let him out while I'm looking at this and then he gets out of there safely and then we just close it up? I don't know. It's not- oh, cool. Alright. That's very nice. So when I need to come back to free him of his duty, it'd be pretty, pretty easy to get to him. Okay. I don't even really know where I'm going. Oh, this is where I'm going. I need to save my peeps. I, I know, I know. Okay. Come on, peeps. Pull yourselves together and get some better aim. But I can't- I can't talk because my aim is also super garbage. We'll just be garbage together, huh? Good work. Good work. Good work, sirs. This that was just too big. It's too big to fit through whatever we needed to get done. Sorry, I'm breaking all the barriers. Oh! And I forgot that I could throw them when they're at low health as well. Fortified units, I'm gonna assume. Oh boy. What ha- I mean, I see this body is like absolutely demolished here. Can we actually look at his face? Dude is not having a good day at all. Twisted passage? Am I ready for this? That's the object of power. I need to cleanse it. A television. Wow. Oh. <gasps> oh, oh, Lord. Where did it go? What is happening? Oh, my God. No. Oh. Oh. Easy. Oh. 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 We're going to die. How did- okay. It's Jesse. It's fine. That is so gorgeous though. Look at this shit. How am I supposed to fight that? Okay. We're gonna have to make it work, girl! Lens at the Benikoff television. There, oh, easy, easy. Oh my god, oh my god. I didn't know I was gonna be jumping for my life. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Breathtaking. I don't wanna live here, but I like the aesthetic. Or not. I thought I could cheat. What is happening with that guy? Uh Can I act? Yeah. Battle begin! Oh! Okay, this is a boss battle, so let's... We have to observe and figure out what this guy's deal is. We're okay. If, if this needs to be done a couple times, it's cool. I'm already- I'm already dead. I- oh shit. Oh good lord. 
I'm dead. I'm absolutely dead. Salvador, the head of security. His team didn't stand a chance against the Hiss. No one here does. Good lord. Good, good lord. That, that was such an intense fight. Holy shit. Okay, I think, I think we're ready to move on. I just have to say, I had to turn on assist for that fight. It was just too difficult for me. Good lord, that dude was so intense. Okay, the TV. Another object of power gone nuts. Here we go again. Give me a second, give me a second, there's quite a lot happening. Okay, let's do this. It's so cool. Use Levitate to complete the Astro Plane Challenge. Oh! Does it never run out? That's so sick! We can fly! Oh! Okay, well, I gotta be careful. Oh lordy lordy lord and do oh easy. It's not infinite. Come on, come on, come on. We're fine. We're fine. That thing is nothing. That thing is nothing. Space by levitating to fall while falling. I mean, all of that is this the same button. It's okay. We're good. Okay. This is so good. This was so needed. I suck my buns. Oh, they're just gonna keep coming, aren't they? Okay, this one is gonna be a big challenge. We're good. <laughs> Suck it. This is so good. I I love it. I love it. <laughs> Okay, dealt with the TV. Now I can find Dylan. We did it. Okay, let me read the thing that we just got. We got... Okay, hold on. Oh. It should have never been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. Lynn Salvador. Okay, well, mistakes were made and people have died, so what do you want me to do? Okay, so this is another item that's housed here because it's like a high-risk item, I guess. The Ocelot's Anchor. Oh my god, can you see how many points I had in loss? Like, I had like 38,000, I think, and now I lost. I died a lot of times in that fight. That fight was way too hard for me. Uh, the crew of the White Ocelot first encountered a strange spherical phenomenon while fishing in the blank. Witnesses described it as a black sphere with a faint light behind it. It hovered just off the bow of the ship, the crew blank, by throwing it in a tin bucket which disappeared into the sphere. Oh, okay. By throwing- okay, so they threw the bucket at it, I got you. Soon after, the vessel lost structural integrity? The ship's metal rusted and fell apart within minutes. As the ship sank, the spherical- the sphere lowered into the water. 
A passing fishing vessel called the Blank rescued the four surviving crew. Interesting. Agents were dispatched to the White Ocelot's last known coordinates, uh, blank, and began diving operations on the ocean floor the agents find the sphere. The ship was entirely destroyed except for its anchor. As agents lifted the anchor off the ocean floor, they noticed the sphere behaved in conjunction with the anchor, moving and stopping as one. Contact with the sphere was avoided by handling. The anchor proved harmless. The item was transported to the blank to the U.S. part of blank. Upon arriving in New York, it was brought to the Bureau via the blank. Interesting. That is... that's very interesting. Okay, now we finally have what we need in order to do uh, the other mission as well. And now we can see our brother? What does the map say? Unmapped area. Okay, we gotta get out of here first, I guess. And then we have to fly to get higher, I'm assuming. Oh no, okay, it's fine. Yep. Well, they took care of that for me at least. And now I don't have to run back because they sent me back. Right? Yeah, my fingers are so stiff from that fight. Like, I was not anticipating that at all. And my poor fingers are now dead. I think that this is a good place to call it for today though because uh, now that we're here, we are gonna have to go and face our brother. And this episode is definitely already way too long. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. If you liked it, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, throw those babies down below. And if you want to continue this journey with me, go ahead and hit subscribe so you get notification when the next episode is out. But until then, I'll see y'all later. Bye!